Hey, that's generally a combination of the, uh, of the two. That's our upstairs, one of our upstairs arch rooms. Of course, Turkish carpets. Can't, can't live in Turkey without having carpets. Beautiful. Is it a relatively dry climate there? So that you can have a, a relatively dry? Yes. Yeah, where, where we are, um, because of its altitude and because of its uh, 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 distance from the sea, uh, yes, it's a very dry climate. A lot of underground uh, water, which so which makes the agri agriculture still go, is, is very is huge. That's another one of the hotels that's just been built in our area. Actually, I don't think that's open in that photo. Um, there's probably six hotels of this size being built there at the moment, um, and we have since we've sold our little house. Uh, and we've now gone 50% partners with a uh, we want to go dear Turkish friends to, uh, to, to the, he's restoring a hotel for us at the moment which uh, me and Lorraine uh, my wife will go back next year uh, to, uh, to hopefully run and uh, run and open or open and run you sure can the dogs won't be the dogs no, we still set the well. We still set the dogs barking. The, 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 um, uh, when I had the operation here at Mudgery Bar, uh, balloon down under, uh, dogs were an issue. Um, they still are, as far as I know. Uh, there's a pitch, uh, in, a noise in the burner, the burner that uh, affects some dogs. Um, it's amazing. Now we can fly over two 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 properties with two Alsatians. Um, one's climbing, you know, climbing the flyby screen trying to get out, and the one next door will be soundly, soundly sleeping and not, uh, and, uh, and not, not worry about it. But yes, they are. Uh, animals are still an, uh, uh, an, an uh, problem. Is there a, a measured environment effect on the uh, uh, No. Yeah. Is there a uh, ask if there was a measurable effect on the bird life, of the nesting, or the new I think the turkey shoot for us. What's that? Most of the birds. <laughs> no, um, uh, uh, we've had no uh, no, no uh, uh, issues on that whatsoever. The Turks are, are fantastic with, with regarding the ballooning. They very much embrace it as a uh, uh, because it's obviously employs so many people in the area. As we said, a hundred balloons, uh, four crew each, uh, combined with the bus drivers and the. Um, uh, and, the, and the people that work in the offices, it's a huge industry for them over there. And they, so they actively, uh, actively embrace it. Um, and it's just getting bigger and bigger. And Turkish pilots? Turkish pilots are uh, very well trained. Um, uh, that probably wasn't the case 10 years ago. Um, but it is now. 10 years ago, if you went ballooning in Turkey, 80% chance you would have been flying with a foreign pilot. Now there's probably a 20% chance you'd be flying with a foreign pilot. So over the last 10 years, they've been developing their uh, their training facilities. Uh, the young uh, young Turks have been coming through, and uh, and they've uh, they've been taught pretty well. Uh, we had a accident-free, incident-free uh, 12 months last year, which was which was pretty good for that for that uh, that amount of flights and that amount of people carried. What are, you, what are you doing? What are you doing this? Um, summer? I'm having a break from Turkey this year. If I'd known about the hotel when we decided this in June last year, we probably wouldn't have. But uh, June last year, we decided that we we, we did this because we wanted to um, embrace travel, embrace the world, see other places. So we thought, well, hang on, we've been in Turkey for four years. It's time we went somewhere different. So on the first of July, I'm starting uh, flying uh, over the uh, Masai Mara in Kenya, uh, over the game park. I'm there for five months. Uh, my wife will come and join me probably for the last one or two. So we'll have a little, bit of a look at Africa and then next March we go back to Turkey to, uh, to open that. Hmm? Oh, look, uh, uh, with Turkey, uh, I, uh, if, you, if you had another eight hours, uh, we, we, we'd get close to it. I, when, I was, when Jim asked me to do this, I said, do you want to know about the history and the religions? Um, uh, you know, the fact that uh, uh, St Nicholas, Father Christmas, is buried, buried you know, just down the road from where I live. 
Um, it, it goes on and on and on. You know, Kekabah, the sunken um, Roman sunken cities. Uh, uh, the farm, uh, one of the potato farmers, uh, uh, 20 k's away in the next town, Mustafa Pasha, he was planting his potatoes four years ago and he's gone, oh, clump, what's that? It's a, um, a, a Roman temple uh, that was being covered in a mudslide. So they're halfway through uh, uh, digging it up at the moment, dig, uh, digging it up and restoring it at the moment. And it's, uh, they've got, so they've got all the archaeologists and university students out from Istanbul at the moment. Uh, 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 uncovering it, so uh, when I go back, that'll be another another thing to another tourism thing to uh, to look at. So it just keeps going and going. They've found 40 underground cities uh, in our area. So if they found 40, uh, how many is there? And they all kept, uh, they all hold 10 to 20 thousand people. I'm sorry, I, I, I love this. It's a very interesting place. So I could keep going. Um, thank you very much for coming. I always thought that they were having a skill like dishwashing was good for travelling, but obviously a hot air balloon. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you. So there's a little certificate of our appreciation. Thank you. That's very kind of you. Thank you very much for coming. My pleasure.